This is your 3-minute radiation fallout forecast for Monday, July 2nd, 2012. In Canada, radar imagery from Environment Canada shows scattered rainfall from Vancouver to Winnipeg and around Montreal and Quebec City. The jet stream and tropopause, however, place the highest fallout risk on Vancouver north to Alaska and the coastal regions of Canada's east coast. Over the next few days, the risk may increase for the southern area of Ontario from the Detroit-Windsor border up through Godrich and London. In the U.S., radar imagery from IntelliCast shows scattered rain across approximately 70% of the country. The jet stream and tropopause indicate, however, low risk for most of the U.S., with the exception of Alaska, especially the southernmost coastal areas. Of greater concern presently is the risk of strong storms from the cool versus hot air masses colliding over the west and central plains. Overnight, there is potential for the storms in the Ohio Valley to extend into the Great Lakes region, and this would create a fallout concern based on water vapor imagery. In Europe, Current radar from Meteo France and Weather Underground shows the areas of highest fallout concern to be for the UK, Germany, and Poland over the next 36 hours. Infrared satellite, radar, and water vapor maps can be found at El Dorado County Weather. Nuked Radio will return on July 3rd with updates on reactor number 4 cooling problems, sun flares, Japanese fish and green tea bands, possible nuclear cover-ups going on in India, radioactive pet bulls in Chicago, plus current readings and trends in rad levels throughout the country, as well as a tsunami debris update. We will also be playing some recordings of interviews I did on the streets of Niagara Falls, New York over the weekend, trying to gauge who knows about Fukushima and who doesn't. Some of the answers may surprise you. We will also update the East Coast power grid outages and its possible effects on nuke plants in the area. Over the past three days, there have been several reactor problems in the U.S., the most serious being in Point Beach, Wisconsin. The Unit 2 reactor is currently in hot standby from a manual reactor trip due to a fuel load rejection. The cause of the load rejection is not known. There were also events at Susquehanna, Pennsylvania, Watts Bar, Tennessee, and the Global Nuclear Fuel Plant in Wilmington, North Carolina. Please contact the NRC hotline at 800-695-7403 if you need more information regarding these events and contact your local news affiliate to cover these stories. This message has been brought to you by Radchik and the Orion Talk Radio Network. We care about you because your government doesn't. Stay safe.